Hi everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Muhammad Tayyab and uh, I'm going to present this paper, uh, Mask RCN. Yeah. So here's the overview of my uh, presentation. Uh, I will uh, start with some background. Uh, there are four important papers uh, worth mentioning. Uh, these are RCNN, uh, Fast RCNN, Faster RCNN, and Mass RCNN. Uh, then uh, I will discuss the details of uh, uh, the Mass RCNN. I will discuss uh, its network uh, backbone and uh, the network head. And uh, then finally, I will uh, discuss the experiment. So, uh, so the objective of this work is to uh, automate the scene understanding and the authors wanted to come up with a state-of-the-art uh, multitask model uh, which can do uh, image uh, classification, object detection, and uh, semantic segmentation. So uh, now some background. Uh, this line of work started with the RCNN. Uh, RCNN is the first paper which uh, attempts to do object detection using deep learning. So, uh, and uh, like most of the early applications of deep learning in computer vision, uh, this paper also used a convolutional neural network as a feature extractor. Uh, uh, given an input image, a non-deep learning method uh, extracted 2,000 object proposal regions, uh, each of which is then resized according to the uh, input of the network. And uh, uh, these features are then used uh, for uh, to train uh, linear SVMs for classification and uh, bounding box regression. So the uh, fast RCN then uh, did a number of changes to this uh, pipeline. Uh, first of all, uh, it replaced the uh, resizing operation uh, with this uh, ROI pool layer uh, to get a fixed size feature map. Uh, and then second, uh, it replaced the SVMs uh, with the fully connected layers. Uh, now, a fully connected layer uh, is responsible for classification and uh, bounding box regression. Uh, faster, uh, sorry, just sorry. Uh, so uh, note that uh, at this point, uh, uh, the region proposal uh, is still uh, dependent on a method which is not based on deep learning. So, faster RCNN uh, fills this gap and it proposes a uh, uh, region proposal network. So. Uh, now, there is still uh, one aspect of scene understanding uh, missing here, which is that faster RCNN uh, does not do object uh, segmentation. Uh, so here comes mask RCNN, uh, which adds a mask prediction branch uh, to the last stage of uh, faster uh, RCNN. Uh, and this paper also uh, replaced the ROI pooling layer with a newly proposed ROI align layer. And uh, the authors argued that uh, this uh, layer uh, does a better job at mask prediction than the ROI pooling layer. Uh, this paper also conceptually divides the network into two parts, uh, uh, the, uh, the backbone, uh, which is responsible for feature extraction and uh, region proposal, and the head of the uh, network, uh, which, uh, does the, uh, which uh, does the classification regression and uh, mask prediction. And the, uh, the uh, experimented with different uh, backbone architectures. They used uh, ResNet 50, ResNet 100, and uh, feature pyramid networks. Uh, now let's discuss the uh, region proposal network, uh, which was introduced in uh, faster RCNN. Uh, for a given image, uh, it's the job of the uh, region proposal network to propose good object candidates. Uh, RPN does that by dividing the image uh, into cells. Then for each cell, it evaluates several anchor boxes uh, of different size and aspect ratios. And it also uh, predicts their object score. Uh, and on, uh, anchor boxes with high object scores are uh, passed forward in the pipeline. Uh, so next step is feature extraction. Uh, as discussed earlier, uh, anchor boxes can be of different size and aspect ratios, but we want to map them uh, to a fixed size feature map, for example, 3 by 3 over here. And uh, we can do that by ROI pooling operation or ROI align operation. Uh, so let's uh, discuss ROI pooling first. Uh, so ROI pooling was introduced in fast RCNN paper. Uh, 
So uh, ROI pooling is simple. Uh, so you are given a, uh, a feature map, say 5 by 7, and you want to map it to uh, 3 by 3. Uh, so uh, uh, to do that, we divide the 5 by, uh, 5 by 7 cells into segments such that there are 3 by 3 of them. And then uh, we apply standard mix pooling on each one of these segments. Uh, notice that this simple procedure introduces a mismatch between the number of cells, uh, uh, mismatch between the uh, input features and output features because there are different number of cells in each one of these segments. So uh, ROI Align uh, tries to fix that problem. Uh, so ROI Align uh, divides the feature map into three by three floating segments. So here are these uh, floating point segments. So uh, in our example, we have uh, 2.33 by uh, 1.67 cells in each segment. So uh, then uh, in each one of these segments, it, it samples four points. And uh, uh, the value for these points is computed by, by linear interpolation. So after this interpolation step, uh, we end up with a 6 by 6 feature map. Uh, which is equivalent to the original 5 by, uh, 5 by 7 feature, feature map. Uh, at this point, we can use standard uh, max pooling to get the output feature map uh, and uh, by max pooling each 2 by 2 block. Uh, now we'll discuss the uh, network head. Uh, say uh, for a given image, uh, the red box is the proposed uh, ROI. Uh, by the RPN. Now, uh, now it's the job of the network head to uh, classify it, uh, to predict a tight bounding box around the object, and to predict a segmentation mask. And uh, some more details about the head are uh, uh, the uh, sorry, the uh, it has a fully uh, connected branch, uh, uh, which uh, classifies uh, into k plus one classes. Uh, uh, K being the number of uh, classes in the data set and one for the background. And it predicts 4K bounding box uh, parameters. So, so, yeah. so, uh, so the uh, each, uh, so the four are, I mean, they are uh, X, Y are centers and uh, W, H are width and height of the uh, bounding boxes. Uh, so uh, this layer is trained uh, is trained using multi-class loss, uh, which is the sum of classification loss and uh, bounding box uh, regression loss. So uh, my, there is another uh, uh, parallel uh, branch which predicts uh, the mass. So the mass prediction branch is uh, fully convolutional, and uh, it predicts uh, m by m uh, 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 output. Masks. So, so this uh, mass prediction uh, branch uh, uh, is trained using binary cross entropy loss, uh, and the final loss is the sum of uh, the uh, loss for the bounding box and the loss loss for the mass. So, as I mentioned earlier, that uh, mass loss is binary cross entropy. Uh, however, for the given image, uh, we get K mass predictions, uh, one for the each class in the data set. So to compute the loss, uh, uh, mass for the class which is predicted by the classification layer is picked. So in this case, we will pick uh, the mass for the predicted mass for the dog class and use it to uh, compute the loss. So uh, these are the two uh, network heads uh, used uh, in this paper. So the grayed out regions here, uh, uh, so the grayed out regions here are, are the uh, classification and bounding box uh, uh, layer, uh, and the uh, uh, these uh, these uh, these layers uh, are responsible for predicting the uh, uh, mass. So, uh, so uh, these two uh, architectures were, uh, were introduced in faster RCN paper. They just extended it for uh, mass prediction over here. Uh, so uh, before uh, discussing the experiments, I want to discuss human uh, post estimation and how uh, they have formulated this problem. So 
uh, each uh, key point in human pose is treating uh, as a different class. Uh, so they have, uh, uh, so uh, for, uh, for human pose, we have uh, 17 key points. So we have uh, 17 different marks. Uh, here is the uh, example here. So you can see different. Uh, so now the experiments. Uh, so uh, before uh, moving on to the experiments, uh, I want to discuss some network architectures that are used uh, in the experiments. Uh, so here uh, uh, I will uh, compare ResNet and ResNext. So uh, here we have a simple ResNet block. Uh, and uh, you can compare it to a uh, ResNex block. So uh, the difference here is that the ResNex has multiple parallel channels of convolution, uh, while the ResNet has only one of them. Uh, so uh, I'll also so uh, here we have a single uh, feature map versus uh, feature pyramid network. So uh, in single feature map architecture, a given image goes through a series of convolutions. Uh, and we get a single uh, feature map for uh, prediction. However, in comparison, uh, FPN architecture uses uh, features from multiple convolution layers and we can use any one or a combination of them. Uh, it has been shown, that this, uh, shown this, that this hierarchy of features gives us better predictions. So uh, the main data set that they used in their experiments is MS Coco data set. Uh, it contains 80 classes and uh, 115 training images. So the evaluation metrics that they use for uh, comparing bounding boxes and segmentation masks is based on uh, intersection over union. Uh, they use Pascal VOC metrics of uh, AP50 and AP75, uh, which are average precision at 50%, 75% IUU thresholds. And they also used MS Coco metrics of mean uh, of the average precision at different IOU values. And uh, these are the results of instant segmentation. Uh, the first two rows uh, shows the results for, uh, for the papers which, was, uh, which were published uh, previously. So MNC here is a multitask network cascades paper and uh, uh, FCIS is fully convolutional instant segmentation. And uh, you can compare uh, them with the mask CNN results. And uh, and actually, you can see all three rows. So uh, we can see that uh, mask, uh, so all the variants of mask, mask RCNN perform better on instant segmentation on Google data set. Uh, so these are the results for object detection. And uh, for that, they have compared only with uh, faster RCNN. Uh, and uh, you can see that mask RCNN also does a better job at uh, object detection. Uh, now some uh, ablation experiments. So uh, as I uh, discussed earlier that they have uh, uh, the experiment with a variety of uh, backbone architectures. So here the, for the first two rows uh, they use ResNet 50 and ResNet 100 and C4 here indicates that uh, they extracted the features from the fourth, uh, uh, fourth convolutional block. And uh, we can compare it with the uh, ResNet 50 and 101 uh, with FPN architecture. And finally, with uh, ResNet uh, 101 with FPN architecture. So, uh, so these are the results for uh, ROI Align there. Uh, as I uh, discussed, that uh, ROI Align uh, does a better job at uh, mass prediction, but it also does a better job at uh, bounding box prediction. So, uh, yeah, so these are the results for uh, uh, mass independence. So, uh, as I discussed earlier, that uh, their uh, their mass loss is binary cross entropy. So they no they notice that uh, binary cross entropy uh, improve their results uh, instead of just uh, multi novel loss. And uh, these are some visual results. Uh, Uh, and these are the results for human post estimation. And, 
and uh, some failure cases uh, over here the failure uh, is not of the uh, mass prediction branch but for uh, classification so this object is classified as a kite and it's not a kite and some more failure cases here uh, uh, over here we can see uh, missing uh, mass and over here also we can see missing mass so, that's good.